Crash here, and Elgato just recently released the Stream Deck, which looks absolutely brilliant. It's 15 LCD keys that you can program to do basically anything, switching scenes, just hotkeys in general. The problem is, it's about 150 bucks US. So today, I'm going to try to show you guys how you can make basically the same thing by only spending 20 bucks. And it only takes a few minutes to do, as you'll see in this video. All you need is a regular keypad. So, as you'd expect, when you plug it in, it works like a keypad. You punch in a bunch of numbers, and it, that's all it shows. So we need to install a special piece of software to make it so that this works as a hotkey. The software you want to install is called HID Macros, and this software can actually identify between different keyboards, which many macro programs can't. So once you download it, you're going to want to extract the zip folder and put it somewhere on your hard drive. When you run this program, you want to right click it and run as administrator. This window is going to come up. You can see there's a devices tab. You don't have to worry about that. Just go right into macros, create a new macro, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this one OBS starting soon. Just It's going to be the macro key for my starting soon screen. Next you want to hit scan and then just push the button on the keypad and it records that button press. Now from here, you can put in whatever key code you want it to be. You have some modifiers, plus equals shift, caret equals control, percentage is alt, and ampersand is tab. So you can go, right now I just set this as control one is bound to one on the keypad. I'm gonna go OBS, BRB for the B right back screen. I'm gonna scan again, I'm gonna go button number two. And I'm gonna go control two, so caret two. From here, we're gonna save configuration. We're going to go test it in OBS. And here we go. Moment of truth. Is this going to work? And it did. Perfect. Let's try it again just to make sure that was not a fluke. Let's go to the Be Right Back screen. And we're going to punch number two on the keypad just to see if this is going to work still. Okay, here we go. We found it. And bam, it worked. So there we go. You have made your very own stream deck. Let's run a few tests here. There we go, starting soon. Be right back. Back to starting soon. Excellent, it works. Just remember guys, this program has to be running in the background for the macros to work. So make sure you fire it up when you first start OBS or have it start when Windows automatically starts if this is a dedicated streaming machine or if you want to use it for anything else besides just streaming. So what do you think guys? Are you gonna go ahead and do this or are you gonna go out and get a stream deck? Let me know in the comments below. If this video made you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, go ahead and show that like button some love. Thanks for watching, and always remember, the key to happiness is...